Greetings gamers, this is Shoot Kapow, and welcome back to my Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. Last time, we defeated Elisa with this team right here, except for Misty. She was not there because she is weak to electric. And we crossed the bridge to Driftvale City, so that's where we are right now. I think... For now, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the... Oh wait, no, you can't go to the Pokemon World Tournament yet, can you? Yeah. Alright, okay, well, it's time to do some story stuff first, because I want to train a little bit before doing the gym. My team is looking pretty good for it, because I have two members going on three once I add that Ducklet to my team that are super effective against ground, and two that either resist or are immune to it. So that's very nice. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we grab Nessa out of the PC. We're gonna be replacing Kabu for now, because while he is a pretty good Mon, he's not gonna be too great against the ground type gym leader. So let's take a look at you. Sassy nature, that is plus special defense minus speed. Interesting. Big pecs, not bad, I guess. Water pulse and bubble beam, we're gonna need to get rid of that at some point. Feather dance could be very useful. All right, um, we have an XP share, right? Yes, we do. All right, well, let's give that to you, and let's go do some things, I guess. All right, well then, here's Rud. Maybe you won't understand it, it's my guess. We're going to come inside to see what kind of person you are. All right, yeah, let's, let's beat you up, I guess. Oh yeah, after this we get the Zorua. I think I'm gonna use it at some point, even though I can't nickname it. I've always used it in past Black 2 White 2 Nuzlocke's, so I don't see why not to use it this time. Oh no, you're gonna lower the attack stat of my special attacking Pokemon! Uh, Fake Tears is actually kind of useless because both of these moves are, like, physical. Well, Psyshock uses special attack, but calculates the opponent's defense, so... <laughs> Work up. That's not great. And then I don't think Rud heals. Oh, okay. If he didn't crit, I think he would have lived that one. Swoobat. Flying and Psychic. Triphane attack. Don't think it's going to do much, though. Yeah, not great. Let's try Psyshock. Air Cutter. Okay. We're good, we're good. Okay, yeah, Psy Shock does about as much. Let's just go with Fame Attack. Uh, I think we die to a crit here. And Air Cutter is plus crit. So let's go just go ahead and switch into Jasmine. Ah, I quad resist you. You cannot do much to me. Okay, well, I guess you can do that. Punch again. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Oh, hey, it's you. Right, and there's a Zorua that we can't get right now because the old Pokemon games are dumb. They don't just send it to the PC. Alright, well, I guess he was off to fight a uh, gym leader. Uh, seems you can't take any more Pokemon with you, and we're not gonna send it to your PC because all our technology isn't too advanced for that or whatever. Alright, well, what's. Is there something down here? Um. Oh no, it's in there. Okay, of course it is. Oh well. Alright, Route 6. I was expecting a cutscene there, because, you know, that happens in black and white, but not in this game. There is a hidden grotto there. I can get an encounter there, and then I can find something on Route 6. You know, I, it would have been a good idea to heal before coming here. A little bit of something I overlooked. Uh, Jasmine will do just fine. Never mind! She's gonna get immediately put to sleep. I hit four times with Tail Slap, of course. And now I'm probably gonna get out sped and singed again! Alright. <laughs> I never noticed the description for the Awakening before. It awakens a Pokemon from the clutches of sleep. That makes it sound much more ominous than it really is. Alright. There we go! Okay, mirror shot. And that's that's just a one shot. Okay, well. Deerling, alright. Um I don't know if I actually have anything that can 
super effectively hit a grass type except for, you know, Nessa, who is like five levels below it. Four levels, but whatever. Well, this is not great. I mean, might as well. Okay, so... I'm gonna send out Jasmine now. Oh, it has Jump Kick, though, doesn't it? Um, this is not great. I think Jasmine can have a Jump Kick. Her defense is crazy. Okay... Yeah, that wasn't a guaranteed kill with Jump Kick. They would have gone for it. Faint attack, alright. Mirror shot. And there it is! That's a win. That's gotta be a win. That's not a win. Okay, um... Okay. Yeah, that's a win. That's a win right there. Alright! That went kinda crazy. But, that's a level up for Nessa. Aqua Ring actually could be kind of useful if we pair it with Leftovers later down the line. I've actually done that before on a competitive team. It was pretty good. It was at least not bad. Gooey Mulch. Alright, well that's some money later down the line, I guess. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna go heal. I'm probably gonna try and have the Dowsing Machine out for as long as I can. Let's try and find whatever, you know. I'm pretty sure I do get Surf up here. So that is pretty neat. Cast Form. I'm actually using one of those on an Emerald run right now. It's pretty crazy. Powder Snow, watch this freeze. Alright, no freeze, we're good. And just a faint attack for the win. You didn't use any weather moves. That's crazy. You know, I think it'd be kind of cool to use a cast form. It is actually doing pretty well on that emerald run I mentioned earlier. Alright, what's it gonna be? A tranquil. I already have that line, so... Yeah, and I'm also gonna go get that Deerling from the... Ugh, gotta go deposit another Pokémon. Oh well. But yeah, I already have a Pokémon from this line, so Dupes Claws, and we leave. I also think I'm gonna stick with Petulia, because A, she's a traded Pokémon, so she'll level up faster, and B, I think... I, I just... I just want to. Okay, that's, that's it. I just want to. If she dies, I will end up probably replacing her and there goes Dowsing Machine, but I will probably end up replacing her at some point with Deerling. That is, if she dies, but she's not going to, so, you know. All right, and that one up there is a Fungus. Might as well go ahead and catch it, because it is a static encounter. It does not count for our encounter on this route. So let's go ahead and nab this guy, level 29. It's actually pretty good. Mm. And it's Giga Draining. Okay, well... Okay. I did not realize Will was that low. Oh, no. Okay, we're not going to catch this guy because we need the open slot for Deerling. No. Alright. Deerling, I'm going to go ahead and name you... Or are we going to name you? Hmm. Erica. There it is. Alright, now we can catch a Fungus at some point, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to switch Will into the back for now. Put Misty up in the front. And I think there's actually a PC in here, so we'll go ahead and do that. There's not a PC in here. So we'll just do that when we get back. Is this a double battle? Have I been playing too much um, Pokemon Emerald, or is this just like straight up a double battle? Okay, well I guess now it's not. I guess now we'll never know. It actually might have been, because this guy only has one Pokemon. Alright, Misty can take this guy out. Okay, maybe not now. Okay, yeah, we crit. We're good. Alright. I really wish Misty had huge power, because the Azumarill I have in my Emerald run that I keep mentioning has huge power, and it's really good. Oh, I still have a Super Repel on, don't I? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Fungus down there, and then get my encounter for this route, because you can get a lot of Pokemon on this route. It's crazy. Alright, Fungus moment. Probably gonna go ahead and name this guy Koga, because of his poison typing. And Giga Drain. Fun. 
And it's already almost back up to full. Okay. Sweet scent. All right. I think now we're going to go ahead and switch into Jasmine so you don't heal as much from Giga Drain. T-Wave. And I think we're just going to go ahead and use a ball. Uh, you know what? Why not? Ultra Ball time. Let's go. And there we go. I should probably buy more Pokeballs. I think that'd be a good idea. And that right there is a certified Koga moment. And then now we can go ahead and grab our... Oh, I forgot about that. That's such a good feature that they implemented in this game and no others. Carablast! That's completely useless because I can't trade on this. Alright, well, it could be good death fodder at some point, I guess. This could have been so cool if I actually, like, wasn't playing on an emulator and could actually trade, you know? But it is what it is. It's death fodder, at least. I don't think I already named a Pokemon Viola. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and fight you real quick. Okay, so I think Jasmine evolves at level 30. And then right after the gym, we can evolve her in Charged Stone Cave, which I think is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just Volt Switch. That way we can get a little bit of XP, a little bit more XP for Nessa. Volt Switch is gonna be so cool. Like, I'm calling it now, it's gonna be the best. Aerial Ace. And that's another level, Carablast, which we can probably just, um, either one or two shot. Fury Cutter, you know, it speeds, but that's not gonna do much. Alright, yeah, that's a two shot, and we're good. Fury Cutter is a weird move. I don't know why Rollout and Fury Cutter miss so much more than I feel like they should. It's very strange. They're strange moves. Oh, I forgot about you. I can't wait till we get, like, Thunderbolt or something to replace Thundershock, because that's gonna be so much better. Okay, yeah, I just used Curse twice and through. That's a win. Okay, so I think we only get Surf after beating the Gym Leader. Which is annoying because that means that we don't get one of the strongest water moves in the game for the ground type gym leader. All right, we're going to teach Nessa some moves. I'm going to give you fly in place of aerial ace. And probably keep water pulse unless we have a better water move. Can you learn work up? That'd be funny. Nope. Erica can. That's interesting. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and... Put Petulia back on the team. Demon Nature is actually pretty good on a special attacking Pokemon. Because... Let's go ahead and check real quick. Yeah, that actually boosts speed and lowers attack. Attack is, of course, a stat we will not be using. And that is a pretty good bonus to our admittedly not great speed stat. Own Tempo could come in pretty clutch later on. And, of course, we have Sleep Powder and Stun Spore. Which could be pretty neat. Both 75 accuracy. If we had, like... An accuracy boosting move or a wide lens or something that could be great but i think giga drain plus miracle seed and our great special attack is already going to be pretty cool and of course that heals all of our status problems well this has been a pretty short episode i think i'm gonna go ahead and end it off here and then next time we're gonna go ahead and fight clay i keep forgetting his name but yeah that's about all. Um, just subscribe, like the video, follow me on Twitter and flat.io, and until next time, this is Shoot Kapow, over and out.